<coughs> so let's start with the third uh, tutorial on unsupervised learning now this is for the reinforcement learning so in unsupervised learning there is no training data set and outcomes are unknown essentially the ai goes into the problem blind with only its failures logical operations to guide it so what is in reinforcement learning reinforcement learning is a method of machine learning wherein the software agent learns to perform certain actions in an environment which lead to it to maximum reward it does so by exploration and exploitation of knowledge it learns by repeated trials of maximizing the reward reinforcement learning versus the rest methods of machine learning other than re reinforcement learning are as shown below so we can see that supervised learning unsupervised learning and re reinforcement learning all this uh, already we have seen the supervised and uh, unsupervised learning now we are learning the reinforcement learning now one can conclude that while supervised learning predicts continuous uh, range values to discrete labels classes based on the training it receives from the examples with provided labels or values unsupervised learning tries to club together samples based on their similarity and determine discrete clusters reinforcement learning on the other hand which is a subset of unsupervised learning performs learning very differently it takes up the method of cause and effect now understanding reinforcement learning with an example let's try and understand with a very uh, common example which i think everybody must have seen and must have experienced it also reinforcement learning is a kind of learning where mapping of situation is required before taking action the end result is to improve or maximize the reward the learner does not know what action should be taken instead he or she has to discover which action will yield the maximum reward let's understand with this a simple example suppose there is a child of around 1 year age and starts learning walking what steps a child will take while learning to walk the first thing the child observes how others like his parents etc are walking the child observes that two legs are used for taking a step at a time in order to walk grasping this concept the child tries to replicate but soon he or she will understand that before walking he she she needs needs to stand up so this is the first challenge that comes along by along while trying to walk so the child attempts to get up fumbling falling trying again and slipping sometimes but is still determined to take the first step then there is another challenge to cope up with is standing up it was easy but to remain still is another task which is more difficult the child again tries and ultimately finds a way to remain standing with or without support and finally the child manages to stay standing now the real task for the child is to start walking but it's easy to say then actually do it there are so many things to keep in mind like balancing the body weight deciding which foot to put forward and where to put it exactly etc etc sounds like a difficult task right so it actually is a bit of a challenging to get up and start walking but you have become so used to it that you are not faced by the task but now you can get the gist of how difficult it is for a child let's formalize the above example the problem statement of the of the example is to walk where the child is an agent trying to manipulate the environment which is the surface of which it walks by taking action with walking and he she tries to go from one state that is each step he takes to another the child gets reward let's say a chocolate when he she accomplishes a sub module of the task of taking couple of steps and will not receive any chocolate that means a negative reward when he she is not able to walk this is a simplified description of a reinforcement learning this is how we can simulate the reinforcement learning now basic concepts and terminology in this is that in the in this example child is the agent who is trying to walk which is the environment walking is the action that the agent performs on the environment the distance the agent walks acts as a reward the agent tries to perform the action in such a way 
that the reward maximizes. This is how reinforcement learning works in a nutshell. Now, terminology that which are used in this are like agent, a hypothetical entity which performs actions in an environment to gain some reward. Action A, all the possible moves that agent can take. Environment E, a scenario the agent has to face. State S, that is current situation returned by the environment. Reward R, an immediate return sent back from the environment to evaluate the last action by the agent. Policy Pi, the, strat the strategy that the agent employs to determine next action based on the current state. And value V, the expected long term return with the discount, as opposed to the short term reward R. V Pi, that is value Pi, S is the state, is defined as the expected long term return of the current state S under policy Pi. Q value of, or action value, Q is the value is similar to the value except that it takes an extra parameter. The current action A, Q pi S A that is state and action refers to the long term return to the current state S taking action A under policy pi. Now how reinforcement learning works? There are majorly three approaches to implement a reinforcement learning algorithm. They are value based. In a value based environment, a reinforcement learning method, you try to maximize a value function V, S, as defined in the terminal previously, terminology previously, that V pi, that is value pi, S is the state, is the expected long term return of the current state S under policy pi. Thus, value S is the value of reward, which is the, which the agent expects to gain in the future upon starting at that state. Policy based is a policy based in, uh, reinforcement learning method. You have to, you try to come up with a policy such that the action performed at each state is optimal to gain maximum reward in the future. Here no value function is involved. We know that the policy pi determines the next action A at any state S. There are two types of policy based RL methods. It is deterministic. At any state S, the same action A is produced by the policy pi. Stochastic, each action has a certain probability given by the equation below. Like we have seen, sto stochastic policy is equal to pi A over S is equal to P, the A T is equal to A, S T is equal to S. So this is how you can define your equation. Now, model based in this type of reinforcement learning, you create a virtual model for each environment and the agent learns to perform in the specific environment. Since the model differs for each environment, there is no singular solution or, alg or algorithm for this type of um, model. So this completes our reinforcement learning and the unsupervised learning. Thank you.